All right, yo, what's up, guys? Day one here, playing some more Pike Mid. Actually, on we're playing against uh, Swing Mid here. Uh, if you guys noticed the runes, I went for Scorch Transcendent Secondary. I just saw Swain up here, so I'm gonna look to fight him. I believe. A little bit confused. What is he doing? Okay, nice. So I'm gonna probably start Q here. I want to use the Scorch to my advantage. Dodge the E. Get all three L's then back up. Let's see, let's get out of here. So as soon as Q comes back up, I'm gonna go in as again. So right now. Look at the Scorch damage, plus Cheap Shot. Actually doing a lot. I could probably go for Q Flash here. Let's see if he walks up. Okay, got his Flash. Try to go for a kill here again. If I land Hook. No kill here, so anyway, hook could have been better. See, against these mages, it doesn't really matter. Swain, Elite, or uh, Swain, Rise, Syndra, any of these mages, you really need to play aggressive early game. So I'm gonna go for another heavy trade here. Auto backwards with the E. Don't think this kills. Just kidding, it does. Pop my potion to exit. Whoa, so close. So, so close. That was way too close. But we take those. Good, good work, good work. So if you notice, the Scorch actually did already 50 damage, and that's the reason I killed him. If I didn't have Scorch, that would not have been a kill. I would have had to go for a kill in the next rotation. So we'll slow push this wave. Sorry the video started so fast, I usually start the video a little bit earlier. But we are chilling. We are big chilling here. So this game, um, they are mostly ranged. There's three ranged, and they're pretty squishy as well, so I'll be going Dustblade. Could go Prowlers as well, but I prefer Dustblade over Prowlers. For playing in squishies. The wave's gonna be frozen, so we're gonna be stuck in lane for a while. It's the only, I mean, biggest issue with Pikmin is the lack of wave clear, so getting a recall off is really tough. It take a lot of damage here, but what can you do? The D shield should be healing me up quite nice here. Okay, he's getting mad. He's very mad, Swain. Might need my jungler to gank. He's very low, though, so I probably won't ask for jungle gank. The wave's almost good enough to recall. Honestly, it is good enough to recall. Let's get out of here. I really want Serrated Dirk, but we can get away with Longsword Boots. Does he cancel me here? Nope. Put a word down, see if he roams. Okay, let's go double Longsword Boots. The boots are really useful against like skill shot mages. Can dodge their abilities really well. Obviously, if I had enough for Serrated Dirk, I would have rushed Serrated Dirk. It's very valuable for his buy, but this is good too. So yeah, we're gonna go with the same game plan. Uh, what we do need to do Let's freeze this wave. He cannot crash this, and we need to make sure that he can't crash. Ping that he is no sums. So hopefully my jungle comes soon. I really want to play aggro here, but honestly, on this wave state, it's not that good. But maybe Malka shows up. Yo, bro, skip the crab, man. Come on, bro. This is free. I'm gonna go now, because my Nami's here. I'll play it slow. Wait for her to show up. This guy has no way of getting out. He has 0% chance. Okay, how do we miss that? Just keep chasing, wait for my Q to come up. Go for Zareth now. Nice, cool. Very, very nice. I'm kind of mad that Nami missed Bubble, but turns out it was better because <laughs> Zareth showed up to the- Hey, what are you doing? What, hello? B Trinket? What, what is Nami typing? Alright, whatever. Go, great fight, absolutely great fight. You guys noticed that my E position was really, like, really weird, but actually worked out really well. Because my E just went barely anywhere and allowed me to instantly start auto-attacking. So we'll probably just do the same thing. I'm about to hit 6 here. We can go for Swain again. Hit 6 while stealth, and then we go in. See if she lands the bubble this time. Can you bubble? I mean, realistically, I think I should have stunned first, just to make it easier for Nami, but at least we landed that one. So, if you notice, like, I'm getting ganks, right? But the only reason Nami is even ganking my lane is because I burned both Swain's summoners and killed him. So, since I got his summoners, that's the reason I'm getting these ganks. It's very important to be able to play your lane phase well enough to get their summoners. So, the recall time is going to be a little bit weird here. I'm going to stay for now, just because I have no risk of dying. Swain throw the game is pretty weak, especially when he's this far behind. I don't 
don't think I can really go bottom. Sorry, Zaya. Zaya's just getting turbo zoned. Good TP though. Go for a hook here. I mean, I could probably play for kill, but it's really risky. I don't know when he hits six. I think his ghost is about to be up too. Ghost actually makes it really hard to kill. Hero's killing them. Maybe I can wait for level seven to try to take another heavy trade. Doing hit hook here, this would be really valuable. Nice. And maybe auto attack off the pull. He W backwards, wow. Okay, well, he still he has ghost up, his flash is still down, but flash is almost up. This is really risky. Very close to six as well. Oh, that was so close. Okay, he's east down, I can walk up. I really want to go for EQ flash here. Oh, oh, that was so close. He hit six as I went in. I ignited during my R as well. You can use ignite during your R channel, and it was very smart to do that because he might have healed out of my R range there. It was very close. But now his ult is on cooldown as well. That is a huge kill. Okay, let's just buy out the whole shop here. Go refill. Refill was really valuable. Pike's pretty squishy champ, so having regen is very nice. Let's go straight on mid. Let's check the runes. 160 scorch, 150 cheap shot. There's a bonus 300 damage from runes. That is that is a lot. That is quite a bit. But obviously it falls off later on. Like scorch kind of becomes a little more more useless later on in the game, but very helpful for lane phase, especially when Pike's a champion that like has to win lane phase no matter what. So now that he has no ulti, I can probably just open with E. I can go for the EQ combo. Let's see. Just look for hook. Okay, missed it. It's fine. I can still look for heavy trade. Maybe go for EQ. Dude. Oh, I'm trolling my balls off right now. That was bad. I really just want to connect the, the E. So I used EW, but EW is not smart there. Okay, I'm just trying to punish this ulti CD, but I'm seeming to fail. Yeah, on the bright side, he's missing all this farm, so I should just play it smarter to the point where, like, I just go in once he's going for farm. So, like, right now, it's a lot easier to hit him when he's trying to get CS. Can my Maokai play mid lane once? Okay, what do you was just answering? What is this? This is Champ's OP, though. Bro, my Maokai needs. Please play with my Maokai. Our combo is so strong. I love playing Maokai. Okay, his flash is up, got his ulti. His ghost and his flash are up here. Uh, maybe I can use E to burn his flash though. Okay, well, I had the right idea there. Use my E to burn his flash and then ulti right after his flash, but the ult went a little bit wide, but honestly still complete fine. Getting his flash is huge. Sending him back to base and getting his flash. So we're just gonna hard shove this and then go recall. No, I just messed up. I need to use Q on a other minion. Still fine, whatever. This way it's gonna be slow, so much slower now that I did that though. Okay, good. I mean, good thing I'm just stomping my lane, but like my Maokai should just be coming mid lane. I cannot believe this. Oh, cancel me down. Too smart. And he went Tappy Rush. Very nice, very, very nice. Maybe I just walk bot lane. I have no mana, but this guy dies to just m me sneezing on him. Maybe it's a bad idea, actually. I'm wasting a lot of time, man. I'm about to start pinging the Maokai, but there's no point in pinging him. Man, I still can't recall. I don't know if I can save her, actually. That's pretty sad. I just missed that entire mid wave and Nami died. Pretty bad, I must say, but it's okay. We keep going. Um, let's time the Swain Flash so my jungler maybe looks. Or, wait, 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 no, 14 minutes. Five minutes. Please, Maokai, just one gank for your winning lane, your hard winning lane, sir. It's okay. Sometimes your junglers won't gank for you, and that's fine. Just keep playing, uh, keep playing aggro. That Scorch damage, dodge the E. Maybe play with Maokai if he needs my help. Swain went tabbies, which means I'm not really going to kill him, but at least he's not going to deal very much damage in fights. His damage is going to be super low. Mm, can look for top dive. Play with Maokai. 
I want to go bot. I want to kill Ezreal Zareth. They're so squishy. But I will look here. EQ. Get the bubble off. EQ, very, very consistent combo. Like, just open with E, then land this Q slow. It, it makes the stun so easy to land. What's important is that your E is in good good position, though. If you miss the E, then it's going to be impossible to actually connect the stun. I definitely miss the EQ combo, like, from time to time. It takes a lot of practice to get used to, but it's so valuable. Did we lose bot turret? Oh, yeah, we do get top turret. Very nice. The Rift Herald is stuck on the mini waves, though, because Maokai doesn't know how to use Rift Herald. <laughs> Fira has to wave play to be able to get to rush. That's okay. I really want a base for Dustblade here, but farm is very nice. Maybe I'll go buy. I do have only 20. Very nice, Zaya. Well played. And go for Zareth here. Hopefully Zareth doesn't give the kill. Actually, I'll go for Udi. Just because Udi actually has a chance of getting out. Cool. And then we'll recall. So we actually could go Prowlers here. I mean, they're, both Dustblade and Prowlers are good. I just heavily prefer Dustblade. My personal preference will go Dusk. But you could definitely go Prowlers here and make really good use of it. 100%. Just personal preference. So we'll keep going straight down mid. We're going to continue to play aggro on this guy. His flash is at 14, so we have one more minute of playing aggressive before we can't really kill him. But we should be able to fight him here. Malkai's on the flank. Oh yeah, 100%. His ghost is up, though. So I went for Dustblade auto, and then I went for the QE. The Dustblade auto to slow him down. I don't really want to ulti, because it's worth, not really worth any gold. Oh, it's worth 220. Maybe I could ult it, but I usually don't like ulting people that are not worth money. Maybe I just use down Udyr instead. Udyr has no flash, he's ghost, so it should be pretty free. Cool. And then we can take fight. I want to go for Zareth here. We can still go for Cinch, maybe. Pop Ignite on him to reduce healing. Wait till he's low enough to QR. Nice. And then we can maybe look for Hook on this guy. Fuel's on the flank. Don't know if this is diveable, though. He's going for it. <laughs> My man. I can't. I can't. This is too deep for me. Way too deep. Hopefully Fuel lives. Should be fine. Maybe it can help. Nice. Swing ghosted, still still couldn't get it. It's big. Oh, we'll recall now. There's, there's nothing else to do here. We killed the entire team. Might as well go spend our money. Look at the rune value, though. I mean, 800 damage from Cheap Shot Scorch. Pike's damage is really low, so just 800 damage from runes in general is so nice. Helps so much. Especially in those early fights. Those, the early kills I got, strictly from Scorch. Scorch makes it so you can just get a kill slightly earlier, but that earlier ki kill can mean so much for your snowball. So, second item, we'll probably do Axiom. Axiom got buffed, and in a snowball game like this, I totally believe that Axiom is a good item. I don't think you should build it when you're behind, but when... Bro, wh what was that? <laughs> what was that creep like? When you're ahead like this, Axiom is a very good purchase, just to keep the snowball rolling. We'll go for Sarath here. Dodge the stun, look for a Q. Can't miss, I get out. Can keep playing frontline though, can look again. Okay, it's whatever. Just kind of fishing, it doesn't really matter if I hit or miss. If I hit, I can maybe get a kill. If I miss, it's whatever. I'm not losing anything. Can stun this guy maybe? Nope. Two Swifties, yeah. Swifties make it so hard to land that combo. Let's play mid here, this is good. Like, bot turns down. Mid turns the only tier one left, so we can just play Siege for it. Maybe this guy has flash up, so we'll have to wait out the flash. Where's the flash? He's got punch a lot. Can look on the side here for sure. My phone is ringing. I'm sorry. I cannot answer that right now. Okay, we Malkar. We can do something off this. I can't really tank the turret though. This is a really awkward position. I will be making my exit here. Oh my goodness, the artillery. Yeah, we kind of just have to hit mid turret there. Oh my god, that damage. Okay, go for combo here. What? Oh my goodness, I'm getting worked. Okay. Ooh! 
Oh, not worth, but that looked pretty cool. The E, e Gale Force, that was fire. Well, I kind of misplayed. I think me misplaying kind of ruined the play low key, but at least I didn't die. I did have to use my flash, which really sucks. So we'll just go recall here by Caulfields. We'll do the exact same thing where we play for mid turret. Although we should play for Dragon as well, but playing for mid turret is going to be very important. Let's go Dragon first for sure. Oh, GG. Well, there you go. That's that super aggressive early game play style. I'm getting his summoners and then my teammates roam to punish the summoners. Enemy team just mental booms. GG. Thank you guys for watching. I hope, uh, hope you all enjoyed the video. We'll catch you all next time. Peace, peace.